when you're running a marathon, Canada has increased its pace, but mostly because the United States has largely dropped out of the race. Calgary support groups say they're on track to receive up to 2,300 refugees this year. But this could just be the cusp of a big wave coming if Donald Trump keeps his promise to shut down the U.S. refugee program. The UNHCR identifies there are this many million uh, people who need to be resettled to countries abroad. Uh, there's always been a gap between how many actually get resettled, but that puts increasing pressure on Canada and other countries. This is what many of them are aiming for, a new life and a new start. This citizenship ceremony taking place on Alberta's Heritage Day holiday. Dozens celebrated after taking the oath, but this group is just a small number of newcomers compared to what experts are expecting very soon. Along with an influx of resettled refugees, Falconer says there could also be an increase in asylum seekers. He says the government needs to pour more resources into processing those claims, which can take at least two years. It's that delay in, in hearing their claims may result in more refugees uh, with less founded claims choosing to come to Canada because they know they'll receive the social supports while they're here. It uh, overburdens are the provinces and it, it creates a, a tension between Canadians. The Calgary Catholic Immigration Society says there has been a spike in refugee claimants. The society received 569 claimants in the first half of the year, with more coming from the U.S. Experts are also watching attempts to stop Central American migrants at the U.S. border and the crackdown on undocumented residents to see if that will cause any more waves of migrants going up north. The Trump administration ended the protection of Haitians within the, within the United States who were affected by the 2010 earthquake and we saw a huge spike in Haitian asylum seekers coming into Canada to claim uh, refugee status. In Calgary, Crystal Adaris, City News.